Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Hugh Wegworth, and today what I want to go over is how detrimental gluten is to your brain. So if you've been uh, floxed, if you have inflammation, if you have thyroid problems, gluten literally destroys your brain. I'll go over this quick video on how that actually occurs. So here's what the research shows is this is your brain on gluten. Of course, it shows the brain is on fire. Now, this is a pretty significant statistic here. It says 73%. That is three out of four people with gluten sensitivity. So here's the thing. No one can digest gluten. Now, there's a whole spectrum. There's some people that are way over here that have celiac disease. They look at gluten and they have GI problems. They have um, constipation. Then there's people over here like myself where I can, get, I can eat gluten. I don't really have many, many effects. But we're all gluten sensitive to some degree or another. We're just not built with the digestive enzymes to biodegrade and break down gluten. So it says here 73% that three out of four people with gluten sensitivity, sensitivity have lack of blood flow to your brain. Now, here's a test that I, I do here. We're going to check the grains, uh, legumes, and nuts. And you can see down here, gluten right here, there's many different forms of gluten. Now, we want to eat foods between zero and one and you can see gluten here is sitting in category number five. So what does that tell you? That tells you that this person is sensitive to gluten. The majority of people that come to me have problems. And I would say 95% of the people that do this test have sensitivities to gluten. So how does this affect your brain? So this right here, you can see this picture right here. This is an MRI scan of your brain. So I'm just going to turn right here. So what you're doing is you're, you're looking at the brain from this section here, basically cut right in half. You're looking at this. Now, what we're talking about here is this part down here, which is called your cerebellum, which is right down in, in this part here, right where my cursor is. Now, what you can see is you can see this cerebellum and this cerebellum right here. You can see they're completely different. Now, here's what I want you to know is there's more neurons in your cerebellum here than your whole entire brain. So this is how important your cerebellum is back here. This has to do with coordination. So if you go out and you try and grab, if I try and grab this phone right here and I start to get shaking, this has to do with your cerebellum. If you're off balance, this can possibly do to your cerebellum. If you get car sickness, if your eyes, um, if you look, look to the right, look to the left, and you may get dizzy or you can't focus, this has to do with the cerebellum. Now, my point here is look at this cerebellum, and here you can see it's completely degenerated. Now, this is a paper up here, basically in 2001, and what they found is gluten literally attacks your brain tissue. So gluten, cerebellum ataxia, this is walking. So if you're walking and you... Um, have poor balance. This is all from your cerebellum has to do with balance, motor control, how your eyes work. So a lot of people will come to me as they'll say, well, I'm shaking. I reach out to get something and my arm shakes or I feel like I my, my balance is off or when I drive, I get car sickness. This is all associated with gluten and your cerebellum starting to degenerate. Now, Gluten is what causes this. This is what the research showed is your diet is causes your body to be inflamed. It causes your brain to shrink. Here's another picture here. I like this one a little bit better because you can see right down here, like the cerebellum is, it's like kind of like a flower. You can see here how it's, it's pretty compact. And then what starts to happen is it starts to degenerate and break down right here. And you can see this is where we get neurodegeneration. This can affect balance. This can affect memory. This can affect um, being fatigued. A lot of people say, oh, by the end of the day, I'm completely fatigued. I go and I read something, and I can't even remember what I read. My brain is literally fatigued. This has to do with gluten and how gluten affects your brain. So your brain doesn't say like, ouch, if you hit your, your, my thumb um, with a hammer, it's going to be painful. Your brain doesn't have pain. Your brain doesn't have pain receptors. What it shows symptoms is, is brain problems, memory fog balance problem, poor eye coordination. Um, maybe you, you're starting to shake. You get this, this midline tremor shaking. Or when you go out to reach something, you're shaking. Or maybe when you hold your keys or something, you're shaking. These are all indications that your brain is not doing well. Your brain's on fire and you have neurodegeneration. 
which by the way, you can stop and prevent and restore your brain function with the correct functional medicine uh, regimen. So I hope you found value in this. My whole point in this is that gluten is bad, so you want to go gluten-free. Take care. Bye-bye.